Who's working up here? Munchkins? saw me hide. I bet I could stay here forever. At least until I starved to death. entirely too good. Hey! What are you doing there? We just want to make you feel better. Right. Enough of that then. Time for tea? Struggle.
You can't hide forever. You won't get away with this. I'm put. <gasps> what am I doing? If I want him to bugger off, I bet a nice bottle of scotch would help. Is this Mr. Lightbearer's house? Please take a step back. Mr. Lightbearer deserves his privacy like anyone else. Sorry, dear, we're full up. Why don't you come back next week? Oh, if you see Nick Lightbearer, would you let him know we're waiting for him? We've been waiting for him for ever so long. He's supposed to call the tune. Lovely day for it. What about 
All right. I can't wait to see how they fixed up Mel's hole. Lovely day for it. Right as rain, right as rain. Lovely weather. Did you hear? The circus is coming to town. Couldn't be better, thanks. Watch out for scurvy. Uncle Jack says. Lovely day for it. Are you mad, sir? What on earth? Look at the well, see what's on the phone. You can't deny it. Looks like the old printing office is pretty well buttoned up. I wonder if there's a way in the back. No need to get excited. Yeah. They did it! Just see what all the about. He's covered in oh. blood. That's the one that did it. He's covered in blood. Murderer, right there. I think I used to run a hundred meters. You know what? <laughs> Never mind. Next week? Arthur? Arthur Hastings! Lovely day for it. Don't you lovely day for it, me, you idiot? It's me! Sally! Oh, I knew it was you. I mean, the glasses, the hair, the really adorable jacket. Don't ask me how, you're not that awkward little boy anymore, are you? But the way you walk, it's, it's like the mask isn't even there. I just, I just knew there's Arthur. Sally? You look fantastic. This ancient thing. I've had it two weeks. I'm out of my mind with boredom. Green and white checked. Your dress, the last time I saw you. Running out the door. <laughs> oh, that horrible gingham dress. Oh, God, that takes you back. <sighs> You're off your joy. Oh, don't be ridiculous. Oh, you have little fucking faith. I'm not going to turn you in. Whatever possess you to go off your joy? I see. Oh, God. I saw a picture of him. I promised I'd look after him in Germany. I have to go and find him. How are you going to get out? Do you even have a letter of transit? Absolutely. On my desk in the city. <laughs> Good Christ. Just tell the policeman that. I'm sure they'll wave your right on through. Yeah. Haven't figured that bit out yet. I'm very close with General Bing. Of course you are. No. You always did have a knack for making helpful new friends. I mean, I could go see him and ask him to give you a letter of transit. Don't put the general out on my account. I'm sure you've only so many favours you can ask of him. My God. You still hate me, don't you? Yeah, well, I've only been wondering for the past 14 years. We were 16! How could you? Because I liked him because he had that adorable beard. I don't know, there isn't a reason for everything. You're the last bloody person who should be off his joy. I can't believe you are. Believe me, take enough stuff. Look, some downer broke into my lab last week, literally tore the bars off the windows, and the ridiculous thing is I forgot to lock the front door. The point is, it's a horrible, terrible world out there. I just don't see you smashing your way into the city without a great deal of help. Oh, no. Not me. 
I'm living on the King's Road right now. Of course you are. I couldn't exactly have stayed there, could I? Like nothing happened. <sighs> Look, I'm sorry. This isn't what I meant to... Maybe we could help each other. Maybe I could come by when I'm feeling... Better? Brilliant. You ass. How about going to the King's Road, knocking on her door and apologising grievously? And asking nicely for a letter of transit. She knows General Bing. Damn it, lads! She's Scarper! Oh! But what have we here? A friend of Miss Boyle's, innit? Funny! You don't seem all high and mighty. Perhaps we can express our feelings about Miss Boyle to her friend. There's the one that... Did it? Uh. Oh. Uh. Uh. Take your joy! Uh. 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 Shut uh. up, you bastard! Uh. Uh. What's all the scuffle? You've been having an altercation in the alley? Uh, nothing you need to worry about, Constable. I'll, uh, just be on my way. And where is it you're on your way to? Precisely. Just off to see an old friend on St George. Oh, well, no need to be in such a hurry. The bridge to St George is, uh, under renovations. Oh, for how long? I hesitate to prognosticate, sir. Dr. Faraday's the only one who knows how to fix the uh, ridiculous contraptions on them bridges. Word has been sent, but we've not had the courtesy of a reply. Why don't you, uh, I don't know, uh, go to Dr. Faraday's house? Because Dr. F has removed to a secret location, the, uh, location which headquarters keeps, uh, uh secret. All right. I'll ask your headquarters then. You some kind of troublemaker. Stay out of city business. I suppose if I want to go and make up with Sally, I need to get Dr. Faraday to come fix his bridge. So I need to visit police headquarters and find out where he's gone. Not risky at all. It's always a little extra complicated what can I with do Sally, for you isn't today? it? So much to choose from. for one of those.
Be seeing you. Morning. Nice to see you. Should clear up soon, I imagine. Lovely day for it. Lovely. All right. Odd. Why are there peepers patrolling the park? I should snoop around a bit. Happiness is a choice! There you are! See you at the pub! Lovely day for it! They say you see the oddest shadows in the street at night. Uh, hello. I'm attempting to locate Dr. Faraday. Uh, can you tell me where I can find him? I'm afraid that information is not for public consumption, sir. I'll go tell him where to find Bobby Hickenbotham, though. 
Oh, for heaven's sake. He's not at a reform club again, is he? He was supposed to go to Lud's own. Well, apparently he feels so guilty that Dr. F has been deprived of the liberties, which are the birthright of every English citizen, he's gonna get his arse spanked. Constable Bevan, I'm not the public. I'm from the Department of Archives, Printing and Recycling. We're conducting an investigation into Dr. Faraday's handling of municipal records relating to the maintenance of the interinsular bridges. Two requests have already been sent by Miss Bing to your superior requesting this information. If I have to go back to the parade, Miss Bing's next letter regarding this apparently deliberate festinence will include the name of the last person I talked to. Will that be you, Constable, or the chap who keeps the constabulary's address book? In that case, sir, uh, why don't you take the elevator on up to records? They'll sort you out. Thank you. I shall. What the hell is festinence? They deprived Dr. Faraday of his liberties, but he made all the bridges. Percival Hastings, is it not? N no, it's Arthur. Percival went away. Odd. There are some things you think you will never forget. But then I suppose you do. I'm Arthur. Arthur Hastings. Memories play tricks on you, do they not? Noise? Pop a joy. Hello? Constable Bevan said you're the chap who has Dr. Faraday's current address. Uh, that's right. I've got records of everyone's address back there. All alphabetical. I'm quite proud of it. So, where is Dr. Faraday relocated to? Oh, uh, I can't tell you that. You're not a constable. <laughs> I guess it would take two of you to make one constable, if you had platform shoes. <laughs> right. Anyone else you'd like me to not tell you the address of? You're very helpful. That's what everyone says. You know, I used to patrol the street. It was lovely. Shopkeepers give you sandwiches laid... Where do you think you're going? We're not open to the general public. Bugger off! There you are. right -o. Germans want children. I don't know. Where are they taking them? I don't know. They won't say. When are they coming back? No one knows. They won't say. Why won't they say? Well, just shut it, Percy. Just shut it. Sorry. Till the war's over. I guess. 
They're losing, I think. But the radio... But, but the radio keeps talking about victories. Yes, but the victories keep getting closer to Berlin. I can't hear you. They keep winning, but they're then going backwards. That doesn't make any sense. It does if they're lying. Oh, people shouldn't lie, it confuses everything. Yes, yes it really does.